In our headlines, a power utility ESCOM rejects the suggestion mining company Tegeta has favored or that a due process was not followed. ESCOM released a statement after media reports that its cold contracts were not concluded according to procurement procedures. The Paracetal said it has no far saved more than a billion rand through its coal supply a contract with Tegeta. The mining company had also saved jobs at Hedrina Power Station and in so during health Alberta crisis. Eskom states that all due process had been followed and Eskom was proud of the savings it has achieved. Well, I would call this a load of rubbish because everything was done procedurally and all our procurement decisions are audited by independent auditors. There has been no query raised about the prepayment that was made to Tegeta. But what is even more worrying is what is the agenda? What is the, what is Carte Blanche and other media houses have in mind about ESCOM? You know, when we were paying Exaro, Anglo, Coal, uh, BHP bulletin, paying them huge amounts in prepayments. To, up to, to date, it amounts to 38 billion. Not a whimper was made. Then we get into trouble that are not. Exaro wants uh, over 1,300 per ton. We say we can't do it. We, we talk to other coal mining houses. No one is interested. And Tegeta says they can supply us at 450 rands per ton. Now, it would be stupid not to take such an offer. Prepayments, prepayments have been done, not only in, in, in emergency situations, but also for the cost plus mines, which were run by Anglo, uh, PHP, Billiton, Exaro, etc. Nobody complained, as I say. And, and, and this is really worrying because we are starting to see a pattern. Well, because we, why, why are they coming? Well, first of all, they steal our documents to try and prove that there was something untoward in making this prepayment. Even that alone is very, very offensive. And then secondly, they insinuate that there was favoritism, which there was not. All processes were followed to the letter. So that's why we are saying we are rejecting this insinuation. Cost plus minds over the past 40 years have been getting huge amounts from ESCOM through contractual arrangements. We supply the capital for capital equipment. We, we, we make sure that the shafts are paid for by us. We make sure that equipment is renewed. And on top of that, we, we buy the coal from these mines. Nobody complained about this. It was an anomaly, a real capture of the state, if you can call it that. And then now that we are changing tech, we are trying to promote emerging miners. Now there is a scream. Together is supplying enough coal for our needs, both at Henrina and at Arnott. We are satisfied with that, but we are also bringing in other emerging coal miners. Even if we have to transport over some distance, we are trying to give everyone a chance to be able to be a supplier to ESCOM and stop this small minority of big companies dominating the scene at the exclusion of everybody else.